Well, that shooting part of an increase in deadly shootings in Wichita. Case and Samantha Boring has been digging into the numbers and how they compare to recent years. Samantha, what did you find? Jeff, we're comparing year-to-date numbers for this year to the same time frame of the previous four years. Only 2020 saw more deadly shootings than this year. Stats from the Wichita Police Department show the total number of people shot this year compared to last year is up. Seeing it, what we'd expect as far as the mean goes. Current data from the Wichita Police Department reflects January of each year through October 4th. In 2022, 18 people were shot and killed. Another 89 were injured. So far this year, 30 deaths and more than 100 injuries. Sometimes things will go up or go down and, and it kind of, like I said, it kind of reverts back to the mean and that's kind of what we're seeing this year. As to why, um, don't necessarily know. In the past five years, only 2020 saw more deadly shootings in the first nine months of the year than 2023. This year, the most victims at a single scene, the shooting at the former nightclub City Nights, leaving nine shot. The Wichita Police Department says staffing and technology are part of their response. We've got a new crime gun intelligence center sergeant. And we're working on that. We're also working on some uh, data analysis with our crime analysts. Um, figuring out who our most active folks are. WPD also analyzes the locations and times of where crimes happen, then changes the department's response to that area, such as more patrols or working with businesses. WPD continuing to work with church leaders and other community activists to focus on crime prevention. Another crime up this year, domestic violence homicides. In 2022 and 2021, there were two deaths each year. So far this year, six DV homicides. Only 2020 surpassing that number with 13. Captain Corey says the Domestic Intervention and Violence Reduction Team is working to hold more offenders accountable and help victims. Here for you, Samantha Boring, KSN News 3.